Hello and welcome, I'm Omnus and today we have the top 10 decade defining music videos of all time. Uh, the thumbnail is Aha Take On Me, Gangnam Style by Sai and uh, Britney Spears one more time. Hit Me Baby one more time, oh sorry sorry sorry. I know that all the Britney Spears fans, whoever is out there, is not mad at me, but who gives a shit. I mean it's Britney Spears. Uh, the slideshow is Eminem with... Uh, this fucking song called again. The real slim shady, I believe. Which is not even that good of a music video, but whatever. Uh, so those four, uh, yeah, it's basically just a rehash of all the videos that we've seen so far. So you you know it already. I know it already. Let's get the shit out of the way and enjoy. It. So it's basically a rehash video, right? Here. You know, I always kind of despise these videos because they're rehashed, but you know whatever. Weezer, Brioli. Short films that distinguish themselves from all the rest. Just my body, Welcome to watchmusic.com, and today we'll be covering our rankings for the top ten decade-defining music videos of all, all time. time. Is it worth it? Let me work, work it. More money, more problems. Dentist. Voked it. By contrast, within a given decade, we looked at the most dominating entries within that more specific time frame, but that may not have necessarily retained their popularity wow. and resonance today. Sledgehammer Peter Gabriel. Number 10. Sledgehammer Peter Gabriel. Number 10. Jesus. It's like literally one of the best music videos, and it's number 10. I mean, all right. This is okay. Yeah, you already said that. Like cars bumping into it, it's so funny. It's so cute too. It's cute, it's cool, it's awesome, it's unique, it's original, it's everything. It's an unbridled celebration of all things animation. In the live build scene. Or later. A picture of the progress that was being made in the 80s, the video for Sledgehammer really hits on something good. Number nine. Uh, hey, uh, a both be the gamer of masterpiece. No, it's not a bad song, but literally rehashing a Beatles performance. No, making a making an entire different music video that is so unique and so transcending for the music video scene. Yes, and that's number ten. So fuck this list already. I don't hate Outcast, but it's a rehash of something that's already been done. Sledgehammer is original. It's decade defining. It's so special. This is just a rehash. This is a rehash, man. Oh my god, it's, it's not the Beatles. <laughs> No shit. In 1964, amid their original British invasion. Uh -huh. I mean, is Outcast British? Who gives a shit? They're probably American. Of screaming, fainting fans put before them Andre 3000 and Big Boy. So it's not even accurate. This record. Number eight, yeah, let's just move on. No. Drinking in the bar, extra roast, kissing a woman, like nobody wants to see that. You know, if Watch Mojo is gonna rehash their their commentary, why why shouldn't I? 
Fuck, fuck, fuck me. Yes, fuck them. Ben Borns, a character played by his then girlfriend Stephanie Seymour. Very briefly. I mean, just look at her and look at Axel Rose, like. But arguably, it's a lead guitar slash who's the star of. Like one of them is way prettier than the other. It's way. It's fucking weird. Filmed outside of the church and captured by swooping shots achieved using helicopters. The cheesiest guitar solo. I mean, I saw the sweet child. One of the most cheesiest. This is the only good part. Actually, actually, it doesn't sound that bad on the final part. Yeah, let's just move on. This is fucking good road. I mean, people are probably going to be mad that it's Britney Spears and both Guns N' Roses, but... Britney Spears actually did something with Paul Bears. Guns N' Roses just rehashed the hard rock scene for a few years. So, you can say that Britney Spears is better than Guns. I will actually go with that. I hate both of them, but... I do agree with the placement. Britney Spears. Why did they say it like that? Like, fuck, you know. I guess, you know, it's like a boring homeschool essay. Might as well be a bit funny. Trying to be funny. To lighten up the mood. But it's still fucking homework. I'm not saying my work is homework. This, but not. Much more just work, I guess. Fidgeting her way through the last few seconds of the school day, the then teen singer takes us on a well choreographed and well costumed tour of the school itself, its corridors, and gymnasium in particular. I do like this final part right there. A daydream sequence which quickly proved a dream come true for everyone involved with her act. In 1998, Britney arrived, and with this video, the whole world knew about it. Give me a shot. Uh, I thought the bass was gonna drop. Well, I'm gonna shit. Yeah. This is so bad. Number six, the real Slim Shady. The only good one so far is the first one. <laughs> That's really bad. The beginning of the new millennium, setting one hell of a precedent for the years that follow. I mean, it's Eminem in a mental institution, where he belongs, for that matter. So Eminem in his natural habitat, like, that's not a music video, that's his, that's his life. And actually, for the most time, that isn't even too far from the truth, because he was, he, he was going to rehab, so... Probably looks a bit like that, really. Oh, not, a man and an other man can't uh, make out, and Eminem is like, fuck that shit. Fuck you, Eminem. Fuck you. If, if those men want to do what they want, let them have some age, man. That's their choice. Fuck off, Eminem. This line also makes me cringe as fuck. Because the only person who wants to sit our, next to Fred Durst is Eminem. Like, who wants to sit to who wants to sit next to Carly Dayton or something and Fred Durst? Like, who gives you shit? That's part with the with the fat bitch eating an onion ring where onion ring where Eminem spit it on. Decade defining best music video of the 2000s. Some fucking spit on an onion ring. Yeah, amazing work mojo. Fucking disgusting. It just doesn't get any better. Sultans of swing. Number five. Money for nothing. Dire strings. It's such a dated music video, but I get, you know, it was defining for the time, but it's just such a bad music video nowadays. It has, it's probably like one of the worst age music videos ever. One of the first computer animated features ever made, especially in terms of music, Dire Straits Money for Nothing almost didn't make it onto MTV at all. Well, uh, 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 u
enthusiastic about music. Yeah, I'm really enthousi enthusiastic about it. The performance itself, but video director Steve Barron eventually brought Knopfler around. Knopfler's a smart guy, though. He's wealthy as fuck, though. And I believe he doesn't do anything anymore, so... Smart guy. And then a Sting feature of on my MTV. Oh my god. It's, it's kind of accurate though that you know Sting is in that music video because both of those bands don't hate them, don't love them. They're just okay. The police and uh, Dire Straits. Gangnam Style. This list is terrible, man. Like the best music videos ever, and Psy is on there. Like, Psy. Doesn't have a lot of dislike though, so. In the late 2000s and throughout the 2010s, a music video only really makes it big if and when. It it's funny how the 2000 list has more views than the all time list. It's pretty funny. And the 2010s list combined for that matter, really. Billion YouTube views, it smashed all previous world records and established itself as the defining video of its time. Size balance between suiting up and getting down took the whole world by storm. So put your bow tie on and go bananas because sometimes it's just the best. Oh, pop song Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Finally, a good pick. Smells like Teen Spirit. Three. Smells like Teen Spirit. Nirvana. Fuck's sake, that took seven picks to get another good pick on there. But we have one, we have one. In terms of decade defining acts, Nirvana are a no brainer for the 1990s. Smells yep. like Teen Spirit is probably their most popular record, and it's big. Probably. <laughs> it is. Back. It's gonna be number two, though. Number two and number one. Ah, oh, fuck if I care. It's Nirvana. This high school mosh pit was the first film directed by now legendary music videoist Samuel Bayer, who has since yeah. highlighted Kurt Cobain's striking lack of vanity in comparison to other acts. Yeah. yeah. I probably love it so much because it's just Kurt Cobain jamming out to some fucking music. It's not. You don't have to be weird. You don't have to, you know, have naked women in your in your video. You don't have to talk about uh, sex and shit like that. You know, strong violence and shit. You don't have to be wanking Eminem to make it big. Just fucking jam out like Nirvana did. Th that works perfectly. It's one of the most viewed videos ever. So, well, in rock music for that matter, because a lot of videos get like a billion views nowadays. But it's one of the most viewed rock videos, for sure. Even the clip's iconic janitor couldn't keep himself from bouncing along. Worked at Paul Jenner. Uh, number two. Oh, take on me, yes. She's getting a tear in my right now. Number two. Take on me. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you know, I was thinking, oh, the, maybe the Beatles, maybe Led Zeppelin, but they started out in the 80s, so they're probably going to end it in the 80s, too. Or was it number one? I don't know anymore. Legendary music I believe it was number, number two? No, number one. Second place finisher. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> here it is, here it is. Legendary music video director Steve Barron is the creative force behind our second place finisher. Oh, they actually... Uh, they actually made new content out because I, because I thought they said third face place finisher which it was on I believe it was on their original video number three but it's second on this one so I left for no reason fuck me so that's their only new line in there might, might as well make a new commentary right lazy bastards Dire Straits it dominated the 1986 MTV video This destroyed Dire Straits. What's number one though? The film follows an unsuspecting comic book reader as she becomes a literal part of the pages that she's reading. It's pencil sketch animation meets live action film. 
and it all looks remarkably effortless. Before we reveal our top pick, here are the lines. honorable mentions. Fuck this song. Fuck this music video for that matter. Roman take out a small dick. Wrecking Ball, Mighty Cyrus. Not a song that I don't give a shit about. Californication by the Red Chili Peppers. Gets better, gets better. Sabotage the Beastie Boys, fuck yes. Should have been on the list in my opinion. Single A's per ring on it by Beyonce. I thought for a second one was gonna be number one, like fuck that. Oh, of course. Why do I always forget about Thriller? It's it's for little like one of those mentality of, you know, um, a kind of the Nirvana mentality with Michael Jackson. He's so beloved, he's so recognizable. He's such an iconic person that I shouldn't really be thinking about him. That's probably the reason though. He's such an icon, he's such a legend. Trish is awesome, man. I mean, that is a short film, 30 minutes. It's as long as this video, actually. Watch Mojo doesn't mention that because don't even mention it in the same draft, mate. Watch Mojo knows that, they don't know shit. It's just perfect, it really is. But it beat but it. Beats that and everything else. So, oh, faith, yes. List, which video did we forget? I'm over on the MC. Exactly, oh, Steven Tyler. Exactly. Watch Mojo. You're gonna end on that brown nose. <laughs> they say bye bye bye, so we're gonna use it for the outro. Funny. I hate that bitch too that is smiling throughout the whole video. Like, she just has some, you know, laughing gas or something. Some helium, whatever. It's just so retarded. I mean, how was number 10 not any higher? And how was only the top 3 good? You know, like, fuck me. This may sound overrated, but no Bohemian Rap. Bohemian Rhapsody, where the fuck was that video? Oh, yeah, 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 but. Yeah, but Bohemian Rhapsody was in the 70s, and they didn't make they didn't make a 70s list. We should have been Rickrolled at least two times. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, in the 80s, uh, they Rickrolled us. Yeah, that was fucking stupid. You know, you know what did they say again? Like. I forgot it. Uh, Rick Roll, you know, that's so cringy, like fuck, you know. <laughs> it's, it's just much more being a cringy dad to you, it's just so cringe, man. Finally, for the first time I agree with the number one spot. I mean, everybody does, I mean, come on now. Oh shit, I'm early, better think of a joke, Minecraft. Is it though? I mean, Minecraft is just a solid game, so not really. No gorillas is dislike. Yeah, but somebody with an L profile picture. I mean, I have an L profile picture, but I mean, no, gorillas not for the all time list. No. MJ is definitely the best artist in the world. No denying that. Rip. He's up there. He's up there. Uh, in my opinion, the music video of Beyonce is one of the worst. They look like chickens there uh, that are getting electric shocks. Exactly. Perfect comment. Holy shit, that may have been one of the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Thank you. I think that's the same card feeder that Kanye West thought should have won over Taylor Swift. Not sure uh, why that video is considered so great. Because it's Beyonce. I mean, come on now. I'm not saying Beyonce is great, but people overpraise Beyonce. I mean, you know, I think that Love Story by Taylor Swift. 
you know, won the award over Beyonce. And if you look at Taylor Swift's video, she's actually like portraying a love story. She's dancing with a king. She is the queen. She portrays it in her lyrics. They're dancing together. There's actually some musicality going on in that song. It's actually a good composed song, whereas Beyonce's song is just all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single. You know, it's just her saying it over and over again with a with a great background with some side chick dancing with her with her in a white room. Like, what is so special about that? It's just one of the most overrated videos ever. Kanye West, shut the fuck up, you dipshit. Uh... Oh, uh, this video makes me feel nostalgic when I was a kid, especially with... <coughs> he mentions every pick except for Peter Gabriel Sledgehammer and number five and number four, he doesn't mention too. <coughs> uh, yeah, fuck that. I mean, how is Sledgehammer not on your list? Fuck you. If we didn't start the fires in on air, I'll be mad. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I've heard of it, but... Of course, Michael's number one. I wish you guys wouldn't have included Gangnam Style. The song is shit, but the music video is pretty funny. That's pretty much Sai right there. He makes pretty uh, he makes funny music videos, but his music is pretty shit. Only likely because Fredo was number one. Most of the rest I've never heard of. Smart girl. You've never heard Nirvana. You should expand your music horizons if you've never heard some of these. I mean, most of them. Most of the rest. There we go. And of course she doesn't comment on it because she thinks, oh, I'm above everything else. I'm a bitch. Uh, uh, thriller number one. Yeah, you know, I'm all signed because of that, but Guns number two, Dire Straits number three. Like fucking hell, man. Buddy Holy Weezer. I mean, how smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana on number 10, man? It's like, it's just like a banging video. Beat it featuring Eddie Van Halen. That's funny. Nirvana. <laughs> funny. All right, you know that was a good, well, good list. It was pretty bad. Only the top three was good, and the number ten spot was, you know, the list started out pretty good, and it's and it's really good, but the rest of the list was pretty shit. So, uh, four out of ten. That's a yeah four out of ten, so that's a bad rating. But the you know the the, the songs that were good, the music videos that were good are amazing. So there we go. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this list. Let me know what you put, uh, would put on the list in the comments down below. I'm ominous. Uh, I don't give a fuck about music videos, but you know I still did it anyway. So there we go. Uh, God bless. Oh, God bless. <laughs> I'm an atheist, shut the fuck up. Um, yeah, I mean, just enjoy your day and peace. Fuck me. Fuck this list. Yeah, and I'm glad the series is over. It was boring as fuck, honestly.